Dear colleagues, this is a case of heart cataract with mid dilated people. I have taken up this case for surgery. Let us see how I managed the nucleus. I didn't use any iris hooks or any pupil expansion device in this case. All the incisions have been made. Now the anti capsule is being stained with triban blue dye. Little bit of adrenaline has been injected to see if the pupil dilates little more. And yes, in this case, after injection of adrenaline, the pupil dilated to some more extent, and this will help me a lot in making an adequate sized rexis. This is so important. In hard cataract, where I am planning not to use any pupil expansion device if I can't make an adequate size drexis it is going to be dangerous however in this case I can see that if this size of pupil stays then I'll be able to do an adequate size drexis and here it is I'm going very near to the pupil and I am not touching the iris and thus I have been able to get a rexis of adequate size. This rexis will be about 5.5 millimeter or so. And now hydro dissection is to be done and this stave has to be very you know very careful step. Little bit of BSS has to be injected just underneath the iris and the nucleus is mobilized and we can see that the nucleus rotated very nicely. Now viscoelastic substance is injected again and now I am going to manage this nucleus. The machine being used is Oatley's Caterix 3 Faker machine. And here it is. What I am going to do is I am going to make the core of this nucleus weak. So I am making some punches just going into the nucleus and coming out and some amount of sculpting is happening and this will cause lot of weakening of the nucleus and I will be able to chop this nucleus and now I turn the tip and I'm planning chop this nucleus. Now see how I am chopping this nucleus. You hold this nucleus very firmly and now I chop and separate and now I am rotating it 180 degree holding it here and along the first crack I have divided the nucleus into two heminuclei and this is very important and see at this time the people has become very small say about 4 millimeter or so and the cataract is so hard so in such cases what I have learned is I have to chop the nucleus into at least 6 fragments and then I'll start emulsifying the fragments 6 almost equal fragments and now I hold each fragment bring it at the center of the anterior chamber at the anterior capsular plane and emulsify and remove it FECO power being used in this case is 85 percent fluorate is 40 millimeter of mercury and vacuum is 400 millimeter of mercury.
flow rate is 40 ml per minute. Now, each fragment is being acted on by ultrasonic energy being emulsified and removed. And these are the last two fragments. So it has been a very smooth ride in this case. I was very cautious not to do anything blindly and thus I successfully managed this nucleus. See the pupil size has become almost 4.5 millimeter. Now I, after cortical cleanup I am implanting this hydrophilic acrylic intraocular lens and see what happens. There is a large cotton fiber and I am removing that fiber then I use a Sinsky hook to place the trailing haptic in the capsular bag and now the lens is in the capsular bag. Now thorough cleanup of viscoelastic substance is done. The side ports are hydrated and this is the final lavage of anterior chamber. Thank you very much for watching. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills.